station and to lock your table security. Pulse Lab Jakarta collaborated with the Public Service Innovation Network East Java and the Transformasi program of GIZ to host an innovation challenge in East Java. The competition was named Urun Ide. This open competition aims to improve public services in the selected areas of health, education, civic administration, or entrepreneurship. One of the three winning ideas came from a healthcare center in the district of Sampu Banyuwangi. The mentors flew in for a week in the incubation period. According to the proposed case, in 2015, there had been 567 cases of maternal death, where 23 of the cases happened in Banyuwangi district. The high rate of those deaths occurred due to several factors. First, lack of awareness of the existing high-risk pregnant women. Second, the heavy workload of midwives that prevents them to detect these high-risk women in rural areas. Lastly, the lack of knowledge of these pregnant women to routinely check their pregnancy. Pemburu Bumil Resti, Maternal Risk Hunters, is a program proposed by Team Zero AKI AKB, or Team Zero Maternal Death, a set-up team device with a mission to minimize the death rate of mothers and infants by collecting data and spreading knowledge on the importance of regular checkup. It is an extended program of Sakina, an abbreviation of Stop Angka Kematian Ibu dan Anak, prevent the death rate of mothers and children, an initiative program that successfully lowered the rate of maternal mortality to zero by training midwives, nurses, and doctors to collaborate with the community in providing first-hand assistance in helping mothers with pregnancy risk. In Pemburu Bumilesi, the majority of vegetable vendors in Banyuwangi are women and are recruited as a potential vehicle to collect maternal profiles in the district. Seeing how daily they come in contact with housewives and how mobile they roam in the districts with their motorcycle carts. The idea is to create an infrastructure between the pregnant women, vegetable vendors, and midwives in the healthcare center. The vegetable vendors are trained by midwives in the healthcare center as volunteers to detect at least 10 indicators of high-risk maternity during their mobile work. In the healthcare center, they are equipped with items such as a vest and signages on their carts to inform locals on the cause of the program. They are also sponsored with smartphones that will be part of the integration program to inform the midwives. These data would then be reported on the monitor of the healthcare center in Sampu and reported to the main office of the Health Service District, Dinas Kesehatan Kabupaten. The team were here to facilitate the process through the Consultancy of Human Centered Design. According to Dr. Rio Luigi Lestariono, the head of the District Healthcare of Banyuwangi, innovation should address four points. First, it should derive from a problem in society. Second, it should be inexpensive. Third, it should be feasible. Fourth, it should leverage society. In a country with a rich and varied culture like Indonesia, understanding local context and procedure is key to improve innovation. The ethnographic study proved that innovation shouldn't be a fantastical development of pushing advanced technology, but a simple catalyst to empower human beings. In this case, empowering the women of Sampu. By understanding local sensibilities, nurturing their needs through education, and involving them to understand the value of collaborating together to fight an important issue is a main asset to the sustainability of the program. Just like the case of Sri, the feeling of empathizing as a mother and feeling responsible to repairs is a key advantage of the program.